Right guys, we'll start this video here. We're on second road and we're back on the soy walks. Today we're gonna to try and cover soy 13 and soy 13 one. For a bit of a location for you, if you just spin around, Dan, this is the avenue here. So it's literally right opposite McDonald's at the avenue. Of course, you've got the Robin Hood over there, Starbucks and of course McDonald's. And as you can see here, they're still doing a lot of work on second row while they're doing it everywhere. Anybody notice these? How come these trucks are always pink? Put these workmen in the pink trucks. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll head down this way. You've got a massage place here. It's called O-Ring Massage. <laughs> Wish you never read that one out. So yeah, we'll, we'll walk down this way. And I've just seen something on Beach Road, which is quite funny and quite interesting. They've added brand new drains in. And the drains, they're about three inches off the ground. They put cones over them, but they're about three inches off the ground. And of course, behind me here, we've got the wonderful two bar, which is always quite busy, actually. It did survive the lockdowns. On the other side, it's buggy there, which should be on to say 13 one visa agency here property and visa is it open i have no idea well it doesn't look open now of course we've got some laundry and tattoo this is where you'll start getting more interesting now as we go get further down towards soy 13 2 3 and 4 and then on the opposite side here dynasty Inn hotel that's how yeah it looks quite nice the white house condo hotel i think there's quite a few of these isn't there um, white house and then behind here lemon alf and massage and what we're going to do is guys when we get to the bottom of this site we're actually going to come back up because we're going to go to one of my favorite restaurants ever it's been here over 20 years the sportsman pub which is a british pub food place but it's quality it is quality it's a bit more pricey than most other places but you get what you pay for uh this one here green chili india actually it looks all right though and then just next to it you've got a tailor shop i think i counted three or four tailor shops on this site p b c Ah, Pattaya Beach Condo. And on this side, AA Pattaya Residency. And then of course here you've got a sportsman, but we'll come back there in a minute. Got another tailor here, the best tailor. He's dragging his in. Namaste, namaste. Just, we'll just show you, yeah? How much for one shirt tailor made? 700 baht. 700 baht? Yeah. Okay, that's good, that's good. And trousers? 1,000 baht. 1,000 baht, oh, that's a good price, that's a cheap price. So this is it here. The best tailor. The best tailors on, so 13. So you sip Sam, thank you very much. <laughs> My old cab, <laughs> maybe later. <laughs> Have I missed something here? Yes, I've missed there. There's a pretty, pretty famous one there, the King's Table. I've spent some late nights. <laughs> Not for a long time, I haven't though. Is it a little bit quieter down this end? And then just behind me, I don't know what they're doing here. This land must be worth an absolute fortune here, beachside. Land prices in Pattaya are very, very expensive. Like London prices now. And this one here. It's closed up. Don't know what it was. Looks like a hotel. And this one behind me here is AA Hotel. I'm not sure if this is open. I'd seen somebody in there, but it looks like it's all, um, yeah, the chairs are upside on the table, so. It's like nice and peaceful here. This side here, we've got market shops, market shops as I would call them. You know, Beach Road and, and these soys, they were kind of a bit destroyed in the, in the lockdowns, but they seem to be recovering back. We should probably do one at Beach Road as well at some point because a lot's changed on Beach Road, a lot of new stuff, a lot of things that have gone. Things pretty quiet at the moment, to be honest, it's pretty quiet Pat here. I think we're getting ready for the storm, hopefully the worst is over now. So, right, let's go back up here and let's go to the Sportsman. Sportsman, the breakfast cost of that was 195 baht. I don't think that's quite reasonable. Them sausages are absolutely delicious. Also, you get a free refill. You have tea or coffee, you can have as much as you want. 
quality, it's been there over 20 years. I love the Sunday lunches here. I put that down as in the probably top three in Pattaya for, for Sunday lunch and excellent breakfast as well. Right, now let's go to Soy 13 one. So we're at the top of Soy 13 one. And this is better known as Soy Yamoto due to the, the Japanese restaurant that has been here for many, many years. Just over here on the top corner, or behind me, is, is this a big, I can't remember, is this Bidiga or Wonderful Bar? It's Wonderful Bar. <laughs> there you go, Wonderful Bar. And across the road, across here, is Little Brother's Big Brother. How to explain that? Dan, careful, you can get knocked over. Again. <laughs> and they've got the, the road dug up here. It looks like they're not going to need to clean them drains out. Full of drains. So let's have a walk down here and see what the reservoir is. There's a lot more going on on this suite. We've got a cannabis shop here on this side. Bud Piper, Bud Piper. Sunshine, another cannabis shop. It gets better as you get towards the centre here. Travel markets, airline centre, Tuck Sports Bar here. And on the opposite side here, on my left, is the Swan Pub. Nice bar, this one. Great owner as well. And then we've got all these little beer bars here. Very cap. Jasmine Pro Massage. New bar, that's like a double unit. And there's a room here for rent, Westerly Hill House. Rooms for rent. Uh, and this one here, this is a closed door, the Bistro Lounge. There's one here for rent. And there's one up there called Sin City. <laughs> and H&S Hair Salon. Sorry, cab. This one here is my friend here, so nice. This is a nice little bar, so nice. Very good, a go-go. This one was, is the original, is the original Las Vegas. Is there any bar called Boom Boom Bar? Oh, there probably is, isn't there? <laughs> a drunken monkey. K Kai. Uh, Bo Diddley's. Viking One Guest House. Is that, is that open? Oh, it looks closed. Another, another cannabis shop here. Cabali Bar. Sorry, Cab. Oh, and we've got Nick's Bar here. Yeah? We've got Love Time Inn. And then right to your right, Dan, this is what the soy is nicknamed after. It's the Yamoto. Uh, is that Italian and Thai food there? Yep. Restaurante. Another cannabis shop. There's quite a few ca cannabis shops down here. Coming up on the left here is the famous Hops Brew House. Always popular, this place. Always good food and good fun in here. I think the Thai owner of it, I think he sings in there, or he plays in a band in there or something to, every night, so he puts entertainment on himself. Look at the size of this place. It is a, a good place. And I believe they're opening another one soon as well, a nightclub on Beach Road. We'll see if we can find that somewhere. Star residency room for rent. And then on the end here, we've got the Kana Queen. Kana Queen. Hang on. It looked like they've got a Starbucks logo there, but it isn't. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's, a, it's another weed shop. <laughs> so there you go. I think I've just counted at least six cannabis shops on Soy 13 1. So that's it, guys. That was Soy 13 and Soy 13 1. Remember the sportsman on Soy 13. Nice, really nice. Nice breakfast. One good night by bar. Thought that's a reasonable deal. Free refills. Best sausages in town, without a doubt. For me, anyway. It's always subjective. Anyway, going to leave it off of that one for this one, guys. I'm going to go home. I'm going to chill out. And Dan's going to do the same. So catch you on the next one. Bye bye. Okay.